Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this new plant-based pocket. It's ham style and cheddar. It's vegan ham, cheese, yummy, it's just that simple. These easy to love pockets are um, filled with flavor. And the brand name is Tofurky. Still family owned and independent since 1980. Uh, this one's new, it says it's a new meal. It's protein, excellent source of protein. Crunchy and melty. 4.5 ounces or 128 grams. These were $3.99 at Meyer, so a little expensive, but it is plant-based, so um, it's not too surprising. Um, 290 calories for the pocket, and here's your other information for you. So direction-wise, you can do it in an oven or a toaster oven. Right there is the direction. Of course, we don't do ovens, but you can if you'd like. We're gonna do this in the microwave. So it says remove frozen pocket from the sleeve and place on a mic in microwave. Um, set it on high for one minute and 45 seconds. Let it stand for one to two minutes before eating. So I'm gonna do it for the 145 and then I'll let it set for a little bit. It's gonna be loud. It looks like a little bun. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting it to be triangular like that, but it's not, it's a bun. So, um, wow, they really, um, they really filled the sealed it up good because I don't see any any indication of where they would even put the stuff at. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. Hey, okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I did cut it in half just so you could see what it looks like. Um, here's what it looks like. Looks a little gray or a little uh, orangey brown in there. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit. It smells like bread, honestly. Um, when it was when it was microwaving um, in the microwave, it smelled like bread. Now I get a little bit of the of the smells of a little bit of cheese and whatever that fake ham is. But um, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell like really really great either. So we'll we'll see. So I'll be right back. Okay, I gave it a minute to cool off. Um, I did see, um, I kind of glanced at the ingredients. It's really tiny, so it's hard for me to see it, but I did read it um, the best I could. It seems the ham is tofu, basically. So once it settles down, there's a big uh, gap in there for the filling. The filling's not um, really filled all the way in. So, um, so here we go. The bread is a little um, dense. It's not a really fluffy bread, which is okay. It's just just telling you that's the texture. Um, the the ham reminds me a little bit of a hot dog. Yeah, it has the same like texture. And some of the same seasonings or spices as like a hot dog. That's that's literally what it reminds me of. It's not bad, but it's not necessarily something I would want to eat. Like I'm not vegetarian or vegan, so I don't need to. But um, it's not bad. I think if you if you are vegetarian or vegan, you'd be happy with the quality of this. It's good. It's just not something I would personally want to eat all the time. That being said, for what it is, it's a vegetarian or a vegan um, sandwich roll. Um, I'm going to give it a three out of five. I think the flavors are okay. It's, it, they're not bad by any means. Um, like I said, very hot dogish kind of flavored and textured. Um, doesn't really come across as ham and cheese to me, but you know, they do the best they can with what they got. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to give it a three out of five. If you're not vegetarian or vegan, I don't think you'd buy one of these. I think you're just gonna get a hot pocket or something like that. But um, but if you are vegetarian vegan, then I think you'd be happy with this. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. <music>